Finding the least common denominator. First we'll look at the multiple method. It is good for small numbers. What we're going to do is find multiples of the largest of the two denominators until you find one that the smaller denominator divides into evenly. Alright, so we're going to find the LCD of 1 fourth and 1 sixth, so the smallest number that both 4 and 6 divide into evenly. One technique is to find the multiples of the largest, so the largest is 6, so 6 times 1 does the 4 divide evenly into 6? No, it does not. So we have to go to the next multiple. So we just take 6 times 2. That's 12. Does 4 divide evenly into 12? It does. So the LCD is 12. Second example. Find the LCD for 1 6 and 1 8. So we can actually first test, does 6, the lowest one, go into 8? It does not go evenly. That is the same as testing 8 times 1. So it doesn't go evenly. So the next multiple is 8 times 2. 16. Does 6 divide evenly into 16? No. So we have to go higher. 8 times 3 is 24. Does 6 divide evenly into 24? It does. So our LCD is 24. Let's look at one more example. Find the LCD for 1 fifth and 1 tenth. What I would do first is I would check does the 5, the smaller one, divide evenly into the larger? So does 5 divide evenly into 10? It actually does. So you're able to stop. You're going to be able to use 10. And that will save you a lot of work if you always test that first. So what we actually looked at is the first multiple of 10. And 5 divides into 10, so we're able to stop. Our least common denominator is 10.